In this video, we'll be creating the room database, which we'll be using in the activities that requires a database to patient it. Let's start by adding room to our build.gradle. We'll be using 2.3.0 beta 02. After adding room library, we will be marking our cat data class to be an entity, setting the ID as the primary key. Then we need to create our data access object. We will have three methods, insert all, which will insert a list of cats to the database, get all, which will return all cats, and delete all to clear our database. Next, we need to create the room database, which will get the cats as an entity, and have a get cats DAO method returning cats DAO. And we need to create a singleton database module to help Hilt provide the database instance to any class asking for it. The database is now ready. Let's do some refactoring to the repository by renaming it to cache repository and inject the database we just created also. Let's rename the get cats to get cats from network because we will be adding get cats from database and this method will use the get all methods we created in our DAO as a paging source factory using same paging configs. Last thing we need to do to our repository is to add two methods. One for filling our database with some dummy data, clearing all cats first, then inserting a list of dummy cats. Second method is delete dummy data, which we will use later to clear the database. The repository is now ready. Let's start filling our base view model. We start by creating an abstract data source of type flow paging data cat. Then let's move the cats object from the network view model and add it to the base view model. But instead of using repository.getcats, it will use the abstract data source which we will override in the network view model to be repository.getcats from network. This way, our view models are a lot simpler, and we only need to change the implementation of the data source in different view models. To see how this works, let's create a database view model. It will extend base view model, and the data source will be repository.getcats from database. Then let's add fill with dummy cats method, which will add 10,000 dummy cats to a list and pass it to repository.fill with dummy cats. This will make our database have some data to paginate through. Last thing we need to do is to make our database activity look like network only activity. The only difference is that we will be adding view model dot fill with dummy cats before fetching the cats. Running the app right now and opening database activity, we can see the dummy items we added. And by scrolling down, we start paginating from the database.